Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different than I normally do. Today I'm going to review a brand new product. Well, I say brand new, but this product has been out since, I think, August. We're talking, of course, about Lady Havish's H5 Domino. Dominoes. Nothing else. In this kit, are 25 white dominoes, 25 blue dominoes, 25 red dominoes, and 25 yellow dominoes. You also get three different sizes of plastic bars. You can use them to extend your bridges or use them as a field starter to knock over multiple lines of dominoes in the field. You get two bridge blocks and you get a comb where you can put the dominoes in and make your fields. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this because I'm used to uh, having more space in between the dominoes. Uh, this is approximately one domino wide, and I use two. The dominoes itself are very, very good quality. Uh, no sharp edges or no no pieces of uh, plastic that stick to it or you know those edges we get with some of the lumping stones. The shape is very consistent. The material feels a little bit different, but this has a lot of grip to it. These dominoes are also a little bit thicker than the dominoes that you're used to, at least I'm used to. I think it was approximately half a millimeter bigger. Well, we'll see when I'm going to put in the numbers. The biggest question on my mind is, how many squares can you take? Is it able to stop a pellet from a pellet rifle? Let's see. didn't go through, he just made a dent, and that's it. We've seen it hold up against a air rifle round, but would it also withstand an actual rifle round? No. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Now, shooting dominoes is fun and all, but I need an actual stress test, so I came up with my own stress test. I took three of every color of domino and I put it under a hydraulic press to see how many stress they can take. The location where I used the hydraulic press wasn't keen on me filming it, so I don't... Well, I do have footage of it, but I can't share it with you. I can show you the dominoes. And Lily, if you ever see this, I am sorry, but your dominoes are not really that good against a hydraulic... Press. I did get some interesting numbers out of it though, and I'm going to give you all the calculations you'll need. And it might be helpful. I used a manual hydraulic press with a pressure gauge on top that only reads out the maximum amount of pressure, so when the domino eventually bent it will always say on the maximum amount of pressure that it forced on top of the domino. I have measured all four colors three times and the average pressure measured on the reds is 28.5 bars, the white it is 34 bar, the blue 21.6 bar and the yellow 31. Bar. Now, why use a hydraulic press to crush dominoes, you might ask yourself. Well, I thought we could convert the pressure into mass and then we can calculate the maximum amount of dominoes that you can stack on top of this domino. So let's crunch the numbers, shall we? To measure the force, we need to have a pressure in Pascal in the area in meters squared. One bar equals 100,000 pascal per square meter, and one square meter is one million square millimeter. So we can recalculate that to one bar equals 0.1 newton per square millimeter. The area of an H5 domino is 8 millimeter by 24 millimeter is 192 square millimeter. The force in newton is the pressure divided by the area in millimeter squared. Calculated force per color is red 547.2 newton, white 652.8 newton, blue 414.7 newton and yellow 606.7 newton. To calculate the mass we need the formula F equals M times G. F is the force in newton, M is the mass in kilograms and G is the gravitational acceleration in meters per second squared. To get the mass, we divide the force by the gravitational acceleration, which is about 9.81 meters per second squared. So for the red, we divide 547.2 by 9.98, and we get 55.78 kilograms. For white, we get 66.54 kilograms, 
for blue we get 42.27 kilograms and for yellow we get 61.85 kilograms. I have also measured the individual weight of every domino you can see here and now we can calculate how many dominoes you can stack on another domino before they all buckle. Yay high school science! So if you check the numbers here below you can see that the white one is the strongest and can have the most of other dominoes on top of it. If you want to break the world record I suggest you pick either the blue one or the yellow one because they weigh the least. If you want to do the same with less exaggerating numbers and with more bendy bendy dominoes pick the blue one because with only 4749 theoretical dominoes that's the max you got. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully see you next time. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in case you don't hear from me anymore. In 2020 that is. See you all next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and blah de blah de blah de blah. Bye. The most important question is, are you able to open a beer with it?